It's not making any sense I'm under your influence And now I'm falling down, 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 down Hey guys, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing is another try new Shop Missé makeup. This time I didn't really incorporate everything that's Shop Missé because we do have some new things that are higher end to try out as well um, that I've gotten in and I really want to try out. So we're not even going to be doing lashes this time. But we are going to be trying out the new Fly With Me palettes. We're going to see how these rock and roll. We don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys know this. I just wing it. I'm like Nicole Guerrero. Every time she ever did a tutorial, she would always say, I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't come up with this ahead of time. It just happens. So it's as real as it gets, I guess. So let's go ahead and start trying all of this out. I have... I'm going to try to do like a cream powdered type of thing. So this could end up in disaster. I'm going to start off and I'm going to use the Amuse Anti-Redness Face Primer just because my face, my allergies, I my face turns red so quick these days. And I don't put this on my nose. I've noticed that if I don't put primer on my nose, then stuff sticks better to it. I think that I need to grab either the Milk Hydro Grip or the e.l.f. one. I don't know, maybe that one's called the Hydro Grip. I'm not sure. But, you know, either the e.l.f. one or the Milk one. I've had the Milk one before and it's so good. Um, but I've heard that the e.l.f. one's a dupe. So I think I'm going to grab that and use that around my nose. Because that shit, I heard everything sticks to. And then I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I want, I've been trying this out. I, I want to use them. Just because mostly it feels good, to be honest. It feels really good. It makes my face really shiny and I like that. But it does need a few seconds to dry down. Just like a setting spray. Sorry my hair looks fucked up. It was all done and curled and up and cute. But it can't be in my face. So it's all going backwards. I'm going to go in with a mix of my Paw Paw. My AOA Paw Paw foundations. Um, a mix of sand and ivory. Just because I don't want to look like the dead. And I'm not quite quite certain what my shade is in this at the moment. It's been a hot minute since I've used this because it's little and it got hidden behind the rest of my foundations. And so I'm like, oh, come back to me because this foundation is so good. I'm running out of it. Ugh! Eh, it'll work. It'll work. We'll make it work. It's a little bit too dark, I think. But I also think that this foundation oxidizes, which might be the only bad thing about it, but that just means you have to grab a shade accordingly to the fact that it oxidizes. I'm going to go in with the um, Wet n Wild, I almost forgot the name, Incognito Concealer. I love this concealer. I'm going to end up having to repurchase it soon. Does anybody else think this has a weird smell? It's a weird smell to me. Not bad. It's just different. Now I'm going to set my under eyes. But just my under eyes. Because I need to set them before they crease. So that's very, very important. But that's all I will be setting. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows with the AOA Slim Brow. I've been using the dark brown instead of the medium brown. And it seems to work a little bit better. So I like that. But I also still use the powder and a gel. Like a eyebrow gel. I feel like I'm literally oxidizing in front of you guys. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take the AOA dual brow powder and just kind of fill in the sparse areas. Make sure everything blends in good. And then I'm going to take the Eye Method Beauty, which I love. You can get this on Amazon for barely anything. 
it's like an exact dupe for the Benefit Go Brow. It's so great. I just start off in the back just in case there's excess product, which there always is. And then I move to the front and start shaping my brow. And yeah, my brows are going to look insane until I get some eyeshadow on. Now what I want to do, because it's bugging the shit out of me, to be honest, is I want to do my face so I can set it. Now I told you guys that I got two of the AOA foundation sticks in darker colors to try out. Um, so I got light ivory for more of a bronzer. I don't know if that will be dark enough. But then I also got rich, <laughs> which might be too dark. So, I'm actually going to try this. I'm afraid because it's a dry formula that it won't, um, it won't spread out. That it's just going to take my foundation away. But we're going to see. And I have the perfect brush for it that I got from Shop Miss A. I don't think that they, um, sell it anymore. I'm not positive. But I'm just going to go like this. It's really dark. I can hear you guys through the camera. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. And then you blend upward. I saw them do this on the site, just so you all know. And it looked good on them. Oh, it's blending. It's blending! Um... I don't want to leave it too long because it is a dry formula. You want probably to work in sections with this. But. Um. It worked. Shit. Oh, you're in my double chin. You guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's try some up here. Oh, this is so cool. I'm actually quite happy that it's working. It does have a reddish tint to it, but I'm going to go over it with powder, you know, as the norm. But I really wanted to test this out and see. I didn't go crazy with it, just in case. So I could definitely build it up. But look, you can see that it's it has completely shaped my face that's a go you guys that is a go that is a go man i like them even more now <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the kaja face bento um the last one here is a is a bronzer i love kaja i mean look at that Love me, Kaja. Love me, Kaja. I want a little cheese whiz. A little cheese whiz with it. Okay, a little cheese whiz. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm so excited about that AOA stick working that I'm like bugged out a little bit. But it's cool. It's cool. We're all good. <laughs> Now for blush, I have two of the AOA Paw Paw Plush Blushes. This one I haven't even opened. It's something that's new that I have recently grabbed. And I actually wanted to try it out a little bit and see how it looks. It does look dark and orange. So what I want to do is actually put like a dot, dot. This is so runny. It's like freaking nail polish. Like a brand new thing of nail polish dot dot 
of the pink, which is called Com Comulus. Sorry, at first I thought that said Conalingus, and I was like, oh, what are we doing, guys? And then I want to put a couple of dots of this darker. So I put the dark and light on there. Let's see how blush whore I can get, huh? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, damn it. It's so pretty. I've never been a liquid person, and this is why you hear me say, damn it, and stuff like that, is because, oh, mmm, and that blush smells so good. It's so good. I like that blush a lot, and I'm going to go in to set it with the Kaja blush from their Face Bento. Because you guys know I am not scared of no serious blush moments. I'm not scared of it. I think all women should wear a shit ton of blush and just call it a day. Because we're adorable. That's a lot of blush, okay. Might have to tone that down a little bit. Ooh. It does look a little blotchy right there, but in the mirror, it does not. So I don't know what, maybe that's my lighting. But it's not, it does not look like that. It looks really good. Um, in my, in my mirror. So, now highlighter. Now I want to go in, what did I want to do with a highlighter? Oh yes, I wanted to go in with the Glow Baby from AOA. Just tap that, because that sucker, this is kind of a crazy highlighter. It will go very far, <gasps> very, very far. And I just want to kind of place it everywhere around my eye socket and kind of bring it up even onto the eyebrow ridge. And then I want to take the highlighter from the Kaja Bento. Little fan brush, little fan brush action here. That's a little crazy. Do I hate it? No. No, why would I? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take the She Glam and the bottom part of this, and I'm going to set my face with my favorite new powder brush that I need to clean. I need to clean all of my brushes. I haven't done it. Thank goodness you guys don't have to see too much of the horribleness of it. But, yeah, I want to go in and set my face in the areas that need it. Which is basically everywhere because I'm oily. But the She Glam powder goes a long way. So you don't need to use too much of it to get what you're looking for. I and mean, I like to dot it if I'm using cream. Except for down my neck. Alright, so now we want to play with these. Now I know a lot of you want me to do the blue. I'm scared of the blue, so I actually really do want to play around with more so these two today, um, and then maybe leave these two, because um, I'm going to have to actually figure out a look, or I'll botch it, so I'll do another one with this one. Um, these are all shimmer, so there really isn't a transition to work with, so this isn't going to be like an elaborate eye look just so to speak. Um, it's going to be more so shimmery, beautiful, lusciousness. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the palette called Forest Queen. I'm going into this color here. It's all shimmer, you guys, but I'm using it just like a transition. I mean, if it's shimmer, today is shimmer. You know what I mean? I'm already glowing. That's already so beautiful. And I know that the lights are washing it out. No fallout. Okay. Um, I know that the lights are um, washing it out, but it is a beautiful sheen. Like, just like this, 
the little eyeliner I'd be happy but I want to do I want to go over to these two colors here and put it around the corner like the outside V of my eye and see if that does anything oh it's doing something what has shop miss a done they've done something amazing this is what they've done that's all shine sheeny makeup can you believe that can you believe that I am shocked it is so pretty it is so pretty and then what I'm gonna do is take my finger onto this one right here and I'm just gonna place that on my lid area Oh, come on. That is so pretty. Look at that. It's all shimmer and it's all beautiful. Go back in, do a little bit more of the darkening. I've never done an all shimmer look. And this is actually amazing. Now I'm going to go into Red Lace Wing which is gorgeous if I can open it try not to break any of my nails lately I'm gonna go into this right at the edge here these are actually two separate colors these whites and you can't tell but I'm gonna go into this one because it looks oh it's like a cream that I was not expecting it's like a creamy cream okay and I wanted to put that Holy cannoli! Oh! <laughs> oh god! Yeah, don't push too hard into that one. This, uh, it's a uh, very pigmented. Oh my goodness. Wow. I really, really, really like that. Um, <laughs> really like that I'm going to now use it with a little pencil brush and put that on the inner corner of my eye it's so pretty okay now that they're baked I know this is gross but it's my makeup <laughs> it's my germs um and I'm washing my brushes right after this but since it's baked you can do it wet too and then look at that uh, ah, I'm flinging my arms around like a crazy lady this is insane I'm gonna go back into forest queen and I'm going to take those darker colors and just a little Anastasia brush that I've kept and I'm going to put it underneath my eye just to blend it a little bit get it all brought together with my sparkle queenness this is a very wearable look for work outings if you're not a makeup person and you really just want to do something that stands out if you don't like to wear a lot of makeup this is the look Sorry about the sniffling, you guys. My allergies. But, um, this is gorgeous. I think I'm going to go in with the AOL, AOL, A, I do that every time. AOA Gel Liner in Beach Babe. And I'm going to actually use this if I can. This is bright pink. I don't know if I want to use that one. I mean, that one is like bright pink, you guys. Barbie pink. I'm not feeling that too much. So I'm going to try jellyfish, which is a little bit lighter. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. And it opens up your eyes. Yes, that's beautiful. I'm very happy with how everything is turning out so far. This is 
kind of cool. I'm going to go in with the AOA Artista liner and just line a little bit at the top. All right, so I just did like a slight cat eye moment, just light. Now, the next thing that I wanted to try out here is I got this from Influencer. I'm really excited. I don't get to try YSL products a lot, but they have a brown mascara. It's huge. It, the packaging is ridiculously huge, but I want to try it out. So it is very brown and very big. So I wanted to try this out and see how it went. YSL is supposed to be the best. I mean, this thing is so huge, I'm afraid it's going to poke me right in the freaking eye. The cool thing about it, though, is even my lower lashes, it's fine. Because for some reason, the bristles on it, even though they're humongous, the outer ones grip the lash so you don't have, like, a smudge situation, especially on your lower lashes, which is really, really good. Because that's what I was worried about. Um, I like it for the lower lashes. I'm going to go in with a second coat for the top. I just, I have really sparse little lashes. It's why I wear falsies a lot. So don't judge this if you have beautiful lashes by mine because mine stink. But, oh, this is a great build-up mascara. Okay, I might really like this mascara. This mascara is kind of pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in with a She Glam um, lip liner. I think it's in 204. They don't really have names. I think it's a mojito, to be honest. They had names on the site, just not on the package, which is dumb. And then I'm going to go in with the She Glam Dry Rose lipstick, which I love. The She Glam lipsticks are like better than high-end packaging and formula. Now I'm going to go and I'm just going to set my face with the AOA setting spray. I'm almost out of it, so I have to prime it. Where's my fan? Where's my fan? Alright, so this is the final look from using at least mostly this palette which is the forest queen and a little bit of red lace wing we will work with the other ones as soon as i figure out what i want to do with them they might be two separate looks but we will be working with them or you will see me filming with a look using them let me know if you do want to see get ready with me trying those as well i will leave everything that i use linked and listed down below for you if you want to check it out highly recommend those palettes get them i've had hourglasses i've had she glams those are the best ones at the best price hands down the cream sticks the foundation sticks for um bronzing and contouring hell yes get them they are amazing i mean this is a great look for every day every day and i do like the mascara it's just my eyelashes suck my eyelashes suck that mascara is really good though because it has a big wand but even though it has a big wand it doesn't smudge so that's that is clearly a very well thought out brush bristle and formula so i'm happy with that so like i said everything will be listed down below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like the look and i of course will see you guys in the next one